everybody, it's Chris from Cali Raised LED, and today we're going to be installing our catalytic converter shields on the 2014 and newer Toyota 4Runner. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is install our rubber bumpers into this hole right here. You're going to push the smaller end down from the top, and then it will lock in place. Using a pick makes it much easier to helping get this through. To remove this front tube support, there's two bolts in the rear and two bolts in the front. You're going to be using the 12 millimeter. Next, we're going to remove the nuts off of our transmission crossbar bolts. These are going to be 14 millimeter. We're going to take these nuts off first. With the nuts removed, we are now gonna replace the bolts for our crossbar. Usually there's one that's loose and one that's tight. We're gonna start with the loose one and then we're gonna remove the tight one. I recommend doing these one at a time. This is still supporting the weight of your transmission so you don't wanna yank them out. This will fall down and be a problem for you. So either put a jack under here or do one bolt at a time. Remove the bolt, taking the newly supplied 3 8 bolt, put on a washer, and included aluminum spacer. Put those on, push them back through through the front, then install another washer and a lock nut. Doing the same in the second position. Remove the bolt, install your washer, then your spacer, reinstall the bolt. Now install your washer and your lock nut. The last thing we wanna do is push both of these bolts all the way forward so we have lots of room to install our cat shield. Getting prepared to put our cat shield up, we need to do two things. The first is we need to take the washer and pull it all the way forward and push the spacer all the way back on both of our bolts. I also like to take this crossbar and I'll take one of the bolts and put it in lightly and let this rest here so I don't have to fight with it later. With our cat shield in hand, we're now going to put it in position and then put one of our security bolts in to hold it up. We're gonna start by taking the front and lifting it over this lower control arm bolt. And then the rear is gonna slide up and it's gonna put the washers on the front of the shield and the spacer is behind the shield. This is what it looks like when it's in place. Also, look, I had one washer that fell behind. We got to make sure that those washers are on the front side of our shield, like so. Now we can rotate this in position. And I like to use a tool to help me. So you have your security bolt with the washer on it. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in and put it through here through my cat shield, line it up, and just get it started. Now I'm not trying to fight and hold this up and everything's in position. We're gonna go ahead and put a second security bolt in loosely here. We're gonna put our second factory bolt in here. With these in loosely, our next step is to tighten our crossbar bolts, which are pull our shield back into position then we will tighten the four bolts on the support screw. Now we're gonna tighten our rear bolts and our security bolts. That completes our installation here on the driver's side. The passenger side is exactly the same. 
Same steps, same support tube, same bolting procedure. That completes our installation for today. Please check out CaliRaisedLED.com for any technical support or off-road accessory needs. Thank you.